What is going on guys and welcome to another episode of my Road to Real Madrid But before we get into this episode, can we get up to 25 likes again? That would be fantastic if we can do uh, And also, you'll see uh, an annotation on the screen You can click on that and go and subscribe to my channel right now So please go and do that if you haven't done already We're on 950 subs, which is so close to a 1k We're getting really close to it now uh, And I can't wait to hit that mark So get me up to that mark and that will be absolutely fantastic Um but for a 1k subscriber uh, special, I'm not too sure what I could do. I'm thinking of maybe doing a Q&A because I don't really have anything to do for a sort of um, like a face camera or anything like that because I don't really have any camera that will, that's actually decent and uh, I don't really see what else I could do. Um, I could... I'm, I'm not sure. Just leave me in the comment section if you've got any more suggestions on what I could do for that. Uh, but there's not really any way otherwise how I can do it. Um, but you'll see we managed to pick up an inform for this episode and we picked ourselves up an inform Cabela, which was a really nice profit. And like I said last episode, I didn't actually manage to show you the coin total, so I thought to make it up, I would definitely do a big trading session and make myself loads of coins for this episode. And you'll see like in the title, we actually managed to get ourselves up to 800k for this episode which is really really good uh, we were around 720k from what I can remember and we got ourselves up to 800 uh, for this episode which is outstanding really uh, and we're gonna get ourselves closer and closer to that um, 1 million coin mark which is just gonna be a big achievement to get to from trading um, and then we're gonna push on hopefully hopefully Ronaldo will go down when legends are out because there will be that many packs opened uh, so that will also help us out um, because I think both of the markets are giant, the Xbox One and Xbox 360, so we'll be able to, well, people will be opening packs on both consoles, so we'll be able to, hopefully the price will drop even more. That's why I've decided not to buy any more plays for this series yet, so I'm going to wait until, uh, until Legends are out, and then hopefully Ramos and all the rest of them will drop, because I know Ramos is quite a popular player in packs and seems to be pulled out of packs uh, fairly often so hopefully you can be pulled out of packs loads and we can uh, hopefully his price will drop even more and a few other people so we made about 1.5k on the info which wasn't fantastic but it was a better profit than nothing uh, Cabello we've traded with him before um, he's a fairly popular player and I've actually used him myself his info and it's absolutely brilliant uh, such a good uh, player, so I'll uh, pick him up if you haven't done, or if you want to make like a, a League One squad. So I was thinking his price will probably eventually um, go up to around about 20k because once he gets rare, because he's uh, he'll take a while to become rare because obviously he's 78 rated. Um, but if you want to go and pick up uh, yourself any uh, team of the week one players from the first team of the week, I would definitely pick them up because you can make yourself loads of coins on them. Uh, but you see, we've got another batch of deals now. Um, we had some in our watch list, and we just had that Kapuwe to sell um, from earlier on because um, people didn't seem to want him in camp. And I think he has a yeah, he does. He has a catalyst on him, which is really good. Um, and that's like the most expensive one on the game for some reason. Why I don't know why Hunter isn't because you think people want shot and pace more than passing and pace. I think passing and pace is the uh, catalyst. Um, but the um, catalyst goes for three to four k which is a lot more than the actual card uh, costs like the actual player card but you'll see coming back into the watch list uh, trade pal sorry um, whatever it is transfer list I always call it trade pal because of like last year um, this is like a brilliant brilliant buy you'll see on this in a second uh, he's actually dropped loads now I don't know why I think uh, it was because like somebody was attempting to bump his price so what they did they bought loads of them put them up for 150 uh, and the put the max buy now on him for like 100k so that people would bid him up more uh, but I actually managed to pick one up cheap for like what he was getting bumped up to because uh, some people were bidding like 40 to 50k so I picked mine up for 23k um, in a second and he was converted from strike to CM which is really good because that will cost like 5k all in total so that will up his price a little bit more and because um because they were all going for like 50k uh, I thought I'd list mine for round about 28k, you'll see in a second. Uh, and because he was um, being uh, done up like that, uh, I kind of just listed mine for 28, which is like about 4k profit after tax, which is brilliant for an inform. Uh, and, that, and then he actually does manage to sell on you, have to see in a second. Uh, but when I went to put him up, I think there was quite a few uh, coming on the market, so I was lucky if I listed him up any later. 
he would probably uh, have gone down in price again to around about 18 to 20k and I wouldn't have made any profit on him. Hope you'll see coming back now as we are finally on 800,000 coins which is absolutely outstanding and I can't uh, believe I've actually managed to make that many coins from trading this year because I wasn't sure if it was going to go well at the start because obviously it was too hard at the start. Um, so hopefully we can carry on and get Ronaldo as soon as we can and maybe finish this series for about January because uh, that will be a big achievement if we can get the full Real Madrid squad by January and hopefully Bale's price will drop as well and you'll see the inform sold. But lads, we're coming up to round about the end of the episode now, so it's about six minutes long, so probably just the average for the normal episodes. But like I say, if you did enjoy, please drop a like. Can we get up to 25 likes again? That would be fantastic. Brilliant support on yesterday's episode, getting over 40 likes. Um, I'm not going to bump it up because obviously Xbox One's out, so I can't expect uh, as many likes as usual. Uh, and also please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We're getting closer and closer to 1k subs, which I've always wanted to get on YouTube. So it'll be a massive achievement if we can get to that sometime soon. But that is all I've got for this video, lads, and I'll see you all next time.